the president here? Right. You're the president. Mm -hmm. President. I'm right. upcoming president. Upcoming president. <laughs> when does that happen? May 8th is when we transfer to Gavel. Okay. Now, when we shoot this show, obviously today, it will air later. Mm -hmm. So the transition will have already, already happened. happened. So you will have taken office mm -hmm. and inherited a huge mess to clean up, right? Yeah, right. Is that what's going to happen? <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully no. not. No. No, we work Hopefully closely I together. Yeah. Hopefully I won't create a mess. She's the politically correct, cool, calm one. <laughs> Me not so much. Working on that. Working on that. So ladies, I'm so glad that you're joining us today on Servings Kitchen with the Cause. And this is all about making a difference in the community. We've got representatives from the Junior League with us today, so introduce yourselves. Hello, my name is Tiffany Smith, and I'm president-elect of the Junior League of Douglas County. Hello, I am Maisha Good, and I currently serve as the president of Junior League of Douglas County. Awesome, so we're going to get to know them and what the Junior League is all about in just a little bit. Now, if you hear some banging and knocking in the background, it's just my co-host, <laughs> who we have locked out of the house today, <laughs> Luna the dog. We don't always get to have them on the show, and that's fine. They're the, the other two dogs, they're fine outside. Now, what we do right now, this part of the show, is probably the most exciting because they have no idea what we're cooking today, right? No, it better be good. <laughs> this is called the beach towel of deception. Ooh. That's what we call it because it is cloaking the food. You have no idea what we're cooking. So we're going to reveal it and I'm going to let you guess kind of what we're doing here. Okay. All right, here I'm we excited. go. Try not to knock anything down. So it's a pasta dish. And I'll give you a hint. There are three different dishes. Okay. okay. They all look healthy. Very, yeah, I do agree. Very healthy. So we're going to have a salad, maybe? One of them is a type of salad, okay. yes. Okay. A soup? Uh, no. no. A, some type of pasta dish, yes. but not sure what it may be. Y'all are, y'all are, y'all are going on the right track. So, <laughs> okay. so let me, let me let you in on the secret here. Uh, what we like to do is we will kind of play off the name of the organization that we're cooking cool. with. For yeah. instance, we've done the Boys and Girls Club exactly. Sandwiches. Oh, yeah. I we got you. did Beyond the Front Pork Chops. Oh. Now Junior League, that was a yeah. little that was a little tough. <laughs> it was a little tough. So it is Junior Legumes. Oh, oh love it. That's cool. Legumes. <laughs> now a lot of people don't know what legumes are. It's basically uh, lentils, beans, peas, that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. So what I decided to do was sort of do a Mediterranean theme. Oh, okay. We're going to be doing uh, shrimp with penne pasta and basil. Okay. That We're going good. to be doing uh, a nice lentil salad. Mm -hmm. And then, like you said, a salad. <laughs> and then, uh, last but not least, we're going to make hummus. From scratch. I love hummus. Okay, yes. that's awesome. So we're gonna get this all cleaned up, get okay. ready for our first dish. We'll be right back. I've got my knife, so I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Sharp too. You ever used a knife? I have. You? Yeah, but I'm probably a little dangerous. All right, well, I'll give you guys a chance to use this uh, in just a little bit. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do first we're gonna be going in reverse order. So we're gonna do the hummus, and then we're gonna do the lentil salad, and then we're gonna be doing the shrimp dish. Okay, okay. But you'll notice we already have the shrimp out. Yes. What we need to do first is make uh, almost like a marinade for the shrimp. Mm -hmm. And then it's gonna go in the refrigerator until we need it later mm -hmm. on. So right. what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pick off some basil leaves here. And this is actually freshly picked this morning from my garden out front. Wow. So that's awesome. It's good okay. stuff. Yeah, jumping right in. There you go. So it smells wonderful. It does. So fresh. Um, I'm going to okay. chop this up real okay. quick. We're going to use half of it now and half of it later for the shrimp dish. Okay. So while I'm doing this, uh, why don't you guys tell me and the people watching? Because tell us about Junior League. Because I mean, 
people know the name. Mm -hmm. I mean, you hear it all the time, all over the place, but sometimes people may not know what you guys are involved with. Mm -hmm. So, so what, what's going on there? So Junior League formed um, as a service league in 1973 here in Douglas County. Um, my first president at that time was Julie Young. Um, so several years passed and they were working steadfast in the community, mostly focused on women and children and senior citizens. And in 1988, we formed under the Associations of Junior Leagues, which is our mother company. And what we do here in J Douglas County is um, our focus is childhood literacy. Okay. And we, it's a women's league. We are trained volunteers. We're committed to community service. Okay. So our league um, does a lot of work in Boys and Girls Club. We go in and do healthy meals as such as this uh -huh. mm -hmm. with um, middle and high school kids, and they love it. It's very fun. And we also go into Head Start and we read to, to classes. Um, sometimes we take legislators inside the classrooms with us. Um, um, our volunteers go in and we all are trained, as I mentioned before, but we also are trained under the mandatory reporting standard, uh, which is um, legal. This is what you're supposed to have here right, in Georgia. Right. Um, so we go in and just have fun with it. And, um, and I have Tiffany talk about some of our signature fundraisers and other things that we do as well in the community. Okay, and we'll get into that in just okay. a second. Uh, what we're going to do right now is I'm going to add half the basil okay. to the shrimps, sprinkle that around, and we're going to do lemon zest. Okay. You ever look, zested a lemon? No. No? no? <laughs> All right. You don't want to zest the sticker, so uh, the outside of lemons, limes, oranges mm -hmm. is where all the flavor is, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, you don't want to go too far down and get into the white part, the pith, because okay. that the word pith. I mean, yeah. come on. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is just take off that first layer okay. of the rind, and that Looks you can nice. smell it. it right? yeah. I like the color. Yeah. yeah. And this is gonna come in handy because we'll use. Uh, some of this lemon juice mm -hmm. for the hummus. So we're not smells wasting so it. So good. Yeah. <laughs> it smells like we just cleaned in here. Yes, it yeah. does. That's the first time it smelled like that in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, and the last thing we're going to add is just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Okay. It's, it's one a, of my favorites. Yeah, it's a healthy alternative. That's mm -hmm. about two tablespoons. Now, if you want to grab one of those wooden spoons okay. right there, and if you will mix that up for okay. us, that will be ready to go into the refrigerator. All right, so I get this covered over. And you can put it right at the bottom. You can hand me that water cup. That's perfect. She knows what she's doing. Uh -huh. Boom, it's right ready. in there. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about a fundraiser. What, what kind of things do you guys do? Because you've got to raise money. Mm -hmm, I mean, yes. almost every organization has got to raise money. We yeah. do. One of our signature fundraisers is every spring. It's at the Clinton Nature Preserve Park. It is the Botanical Boogie 5K. Um, this past March, Botanical it was Botanical Boogie. boogie. Get your boogie yeah. on. All right. Yeah. Now, now well, you, can't, you can't just skim over that. <laughs> We're not going to yada, yada, yada through that. <laughs> Botanical Boogie, what's that all about? I'm not even sure where that name came from. It's just from. a fun name that we created, uh, mostly because at the, the first start of our 5K, we have a one mile fun run okay. for our kids. So it's just a catchy, fun name. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. you've heard of eye catching, that's ear catching. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. definitely. And boogie sounds so much funner than running. Yes, so. exactly. Um, but it's at the Clinton Nature Preserve, which um, is dear to our heart because we helped build the play garden there oh, yeah. for the make it handicap accessible for the kids. Right. Mm -hmm. And that was the first one in Georgia. Mm -hmm. wow. So um, that's near and dear to our heart. Um, but we have fun every year and we use that towards our funds to go towards providing books to all the third graders. Mm -hmm. Well, we moved that to second grade mm -hmm. this year. Um, ten schools in the county, the ones that need it the most, mm -hmm. we go out, talk to them about literacy, give every third grade, second grade, I'm sorry, we just switched that this mm -hmm. year. Okay. <laughs> so by statistically speaking, 
by third grade, they can predict how kids are going to do in the future. So right, if you cannot right. read in third grade or you're really below, you're more likely to live in poverty when mm -hmm. you're an adult, go to jail, not graduate high school. So we switched it from second right. grade instead to try of waiting to, until right. then. Yeah, right. like to try to encourage mm -hmm. that. Um, a lot of kids, you'd be surprised, do not have books in their home. Mm -hmm. Like it's something I take for granted. My kids yeah. have a whole room full of books. Yeah. Um, so we do that, and the fundraisers help go towards things like that. Mm -hmm. um, we do Read Across America. We partner mm -hmm. with them for okay. Dr. Seuss Week. Mm -hmm. Awesome. We go to pre-Ks because they also statistics show pre-K is a vital age in mm -hmm. learning how to read and mm -hmm. predicts how you'll do in the future as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Well, you know, it's been a long time since I've eaten. It's been like, what, 10 <laughs> minutes or something like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to work on our hummus recipe okay. so that we'll have something to snack on while we're doing our other two recipes. Awesome. So if you want to open the can of chickpeas, because chickpeas are a legume, and that is the base of the hummus, mm -hmm. all right? Now the hummus recipe I have is on my phone right now, so <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys exactly what we need. Okay. We're going to need two tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay. So if you mm -hmm. want to cut that right down the middle, okay. and then we're also gonna need two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna drain those chickpeas real fast while you okay. get the, Oh, you've already got the lemon ready. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm, yeah. I'm on the move here. So fast. <laughs> All right. I'm going to throw these chickpeas in the food processor. And I've actually got a lemon juicer, so we don't have to squeeze okay. really hard. Okay. Make it easier. If I can find it. What do you think? Orange or yellow? Let's go orange. Orange? orange? Yeah. Yes. All right. Now, it's, it is for oranges, but it's a little oh. bigger, so you don't have to work as hard. Okay. So, all right. So, we'll put that like so. And you tell me when you think it's been two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Mm. All right, here okay. we go. One, two. I think you think? think so, yeah. Raise your hand if you think that was two tablespoons. I feel it needs I a touch feel like of Maybe more. I'm in the middle. She's in the middle. What do you think, more? Just a little bit little more. A little bit more. Okay, tad bit. I tad bit, all right. Go with my team over here. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference. <laughs> I mean, yeah. All right, and then we need two tablespoons of olive oil. So if you'll grab okay. the tablespoon mm -hmm. measuring. Is that it? That's, this is <laughs> okay. Are y'all sure this is it? I don't, I'm not sure, <laughs> but I'll. <laughs> yes, yes, tablespoon. Good job. Yes. All right. Yes. That's a trick question. Yeah. I wanted to make you feel like you didn't get it right. All right. So one and two. All right. So we're going to blend this mm -hmm. and get it uh, mixed together and. Uh, Make sure we got this in here. Don't start the food processor without that mm -hmm. in there. It can get ugly. Don't want that in your face. Yeah. All right. We'll let that do its thing. Now we're going to need two cloves of garlic. We've got the minced garlic in the jar right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see, a half a teaspoon is one clove. So we need a full teaspoon okay. of that. So okay. that should be over there. I'm going to scrape the sides and do just a little bit more. You can go ahead and drop that in there. We got the garlic. Okay. We need a half a teaspoon of cumin. Okay. Tricky. We're gonna take the top yeah. off. <laughs> Where else I make a hot mess? Yeah. All right. Awesome. Then we need 
a half a teaspoon of salt, and the salt is underneath the pepper right there okay. in that little canister. There we go. And drop that in there. We need just a pinch of black pepper. Okay. I'll let you. Perfect. Oh, That'll work. I like pepper. All right, and then I'm gonna we're gonna add three tablespoons of the sesame oil. Okay. Now, normally we would use tahini oil, hmm, but okay. tahini oil is sort of hard to find sometimes. Okay. So this recipe uses the sesame oil. A lot easier to find, a lot cheaper, and it lasts longer. Okay. All right. Doing the buddy system. Ooh, we are a team. <laughs> One. And you said two. So we'll do three. Three, three tablespoons of that. Two. Ah, ah, ah. And three. I'm gonna grab a bowl. If you guys wanna open up the pita bread, okay. um, I will give you a knife. And we can cut them into kind of wedges, mm -hmm. however you want. Okay. Pita bread's one of my favorite. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. That looks very good. Oh, that's the first time I've made hummus, and it really it looks like hummus. Oh. <laughs> so. Imagine that. <laughs> I think we brought you some good luck today. Yeah, you did. <laughs> awesome. And what I'm gonna do is grab um, where to go the paprika. Oh, it's behind the sesame oil. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this paprika and sprinkle it on top. It's one of my favorite seasonings for lots oh, of stuff. Yeah. You did such a better job. Awesome. <laughs> All right, who's ready to taste? Me! All right, grab a nice hunk of pita bread. Okay, I'm ready. Let's dip. And taste. Mmm, it's really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's got a good garlic taste mm -hmm. to it. If you like garlic, mm -hmm. that's good hummus right there. It is. That's perfect. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good job, too. Yes. So we've got something to snack on while we're working. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start working on the lentil salad. Okay. So we're gonna get this cleaned up. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. I'm gonna keep eating. That's good. <laughs> We are reset and ready to cook. Mm. Are y'all ready? I am yes, ready. ready. Now this is actually called Mediterranean lentil salad. Okay. We're sticking good. with that Mediterranean vibe. We got the hummus over there. Mm -hmm. Chow down anytime you want. Mm -hmm. uh, and then our last dish is a shrimp penne pasta thingy. So okay. Sounds we'll good. get started with this dish. We need, I'm gonna put you guys to work this okay. time. Okay. It's gonna be tough. All right, so we need a cup of the lentils. Okay. So whoever wants to, we need a cup of that. We're gonna put everything in here. Okay. And then we're also going to need a cup of diced carrots. Okay. So I will start doing that. Mm -hmm. 
we're going to need a, uh, a half a cup of diced red onion. Okay. Does somebody want to do that? I'll try my best. <laughs> <laughs> or you can do the celery. And I'll do the onion when I get done with the carrots. No, it's okay. You gonna do it? All right, all right. She's got this. I'm gonna throw this over here out of our way. So while she and I are working, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and why you decided to be in the junior league? Okay. Um, I moved to the area, I guess, about nine years ago now, and um, I'm originally from Dalton, Georgia. And I just wanted a way to give back to the community, get involved, meet other people um, with a like minds. Um, I started volunteering at an early age. Um, before I could work, I did candy striping. I even wore the red and white outfits wow. back in the day. Awesome. But that's where I got my passion for volunteering and giving back. Um, I live in South Paulding, um, but there's not a lot of organizations over there. Mm -hmm. So I found this, and one of the things we are trying to do, because we have a lot of members that are in Paulding and Carroll counties, uh -huh. we're trying to switch it to Junior League of West Georgia. Oh, cool. But that is a process, so yeah, um, we're working on that. But, but yeah, I just wanted to give back. Um, education's a big thing, so the fact that literacy was um, a big component of what they do in the community right. drew me in. Um, it's family friendly too, like my son will go, he's seven, he'll uh -huh. go and help stuff. Breakfast with Santa stockings for the kids at Head Start. He helps me read on Read Across America Day. Um, so it's something I can get him involved with too and teach him to give back at the same time. So I'm crying over here from, <laughs> from this onion. I gave you a choice. <laughs> I gave you a choice. Oh my God. But that was great. You want me to take over? No, I'm almost you there. Can? Okay. So, yeah, we only need a half a cup of the red, red onion. So, if you want to measure that after okay. you get that, just that half done, you may already be done with it. <laughs> that looks good. Okay. Yes. All right. So, throw that in there. I'm going to put this over here. And if you will swap with me, mm -hmm. I'll start cutting these up. Okay. You stay over there. We'll do the old switcheroo. Okay. Now we also need some celery. Okay. Uh, so we're going to need another half a cup okay. of diced celery. So we'll put you to work on the next one. Okay. <laughs> you make sure that doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to hold <laughs> on to this thing tight. And supervise your work. She's crying over I there. Know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that looks about a cup there of carrots. We got your celery in there already. Um, so we have put in the lentils, the carrots, the onion, and the celery. Mm -hmm. Now we need to add the garlic mm -hmm. and the bay leaf and thyme. So okay. if you'll grab the garlic, yes. we're going to need a clove, which is a half a teaspoon. Okay. And then the about a half a teaspoon of dried thyme, which is this here. And you're doing a fabulous job over there. I know. <laughs> that looked like about a half teaspoon. That looks like perfect. That. <laughs> looks good to me. Yep. There we go with the Good garlic. Job. And what was the other thing I said? Time. Bay leaf. Indeed. Bay leaf. So, you ever eaten a bay leaf? Mm, by itself. Not by no. itself. Mm -mm. Yeah, good, because you're not supposed to. <laughs> so, this will come out. Let's try to find a whole one. This will come out before we actually eat anything. It's mm -hmm. just there to season. Okay, okay now I'm going to give you a job. Okay, I'm ready. All right. So kind of shake the, the pot a little bit, get everything shake. together. <laughs> now you need to put cold water in there okay. to where it's about an inch over the top okay. of the carrots. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Okay. That looks good right there. We're gonna put that on here. We're gonna okay. get it boiling. We're going to let it boil for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then we're going to add some other ingredients. Okay. So we're going to work on those right now. Okay. All right. So those other ingredients are, and I'll just read them out to you. Uh, we've got lemon juice. 
we got uh, some parsley, mm -hmm. salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil. Okay, okay. so good. we'll work on that right now mm -hmm. and we'll wait for this bad boy to come off the heat. Sounds good. good. We're gonna have Mediterranean lentil salad. Wow, I can't mm. wait. And I'm also gonna eat some more of that hummus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>What do you think? It looks great. It looks good. Yeah. yeah. It smells good. It's mm -hmm. nice and hot. We got just a couple more minutes. We asked you why you joined Junior mm -hmm. League. Mm -hmm. Maisha, mm -hmm. tell us why. Yeah, so I'm, I moved to Douglas County in 2004. Um, and Tiffany and I actually joined the league at the same time in 2011. However, I was looking for an organization that benefited women and that mm -hmm. was serving aggressively in the community and having fun at the same time. So right. initially I went and sought after Dream League of Atlanta and when I got there, they was like, you know what, we think you'll do better in Dream League of Douglas County. And I'm like, wow. So I attended a meeting, uh -huh. heard about what was going on and I fell in love with it. Awesome. So we've been there since 2011. Both Tiffany and I have been very engaged in the league. We've both, ex you know, excelled on different committees. Mm -hmm. um, and just seeing the smiles on the children's faces when we go into a Head Start or to a school, or even when we do our Botanical Boogie 5K, it's just, it's just great. And so, um, and I just, to me, they're our, our family, our children. Right. Um, and that's why I joined the league, that's because awesome. of the kids. Well, we need more people like you two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and if you happen to be interested in joining Junior League mm -hmm. and you qualify, <laughs> how can they find out more about you guys? Is there a website, yes. Facebook? So our mm -hmm. website is um, www.bjldc.org. Okay. And it's, mm -hmm. so um, if you go in there, you'll learn everything about our placements, what we do in the community, our fundraisers, and most of all, how to join our league. Um, and we have a um, just a high-level training of what we do, uh, and also there is a process that that is um, that we do for you to become a member, mm -hmm. and it's ongoing. So we don't have like seasonal intake. It's an ongoing process that we do all year good, long, good. and we do meet uh, from September through May, and then from over the summer we take a small summer break so but please reach out to us on our website awesome there you mm -hmm. go there's your challenge get mm -hmm. involved now we heard the timer that means this is ready to come off yeah. of here mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat I'm gonna drain these and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put them in this bowl okay, okay. and then we're gonna add the rest of the stuff so awesome. right. pardon me Ooh, it smells good. It does. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm going to leave that there for okay. you guys because I'm going to let you guys add the uh, other ingredients. Okay. But we do, before we go any further, mm -hmm. we got to find that bay leaf. Okay. And we got to pull it out because we don't want to eat the bay leaf. <laughs> so that's your challenge. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Well, There's a prize. Coming, right? There's a prize if you find it. I like prizes. <laughs> the prize is you don't have to eat the bay leaf. <laughs> so, Kathy, this thing's gone. I saw. I think the, the bay leaf has magically disappeared. I saw the bay leaf in there when I drained it. <laughs> you purposely hide it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see it. Oh, oh you got we it. We have yeah. a winner. Right yes. there. Woo. <laughs> okay. So when you're close to the end of cooking, if you see the bay leaf, go ahead and take it out because sometimes it's a little f hard to find. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to add this parsley, mm -hmm. a pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, just like the old normal, you know, seasoned salt and pepper uh -huh. to taste. Mm -hmm. well, let's use salt and pepper. Salt and pepper's here. I know. <laughs> that takes me back to high school. <laughs> awesome. And then we're going to juice the rest of that lemon in there. Y'all are killing it. Yes, Mediterranean lentil salad. Mm, okay. Sticking with our theme of Junior League goons. Mm -hmm. 
little stretch, but you know, we do what we like can. I love it. Right. So if you want to stir that up, I'll get us three spoons and we can all take a taste. Might be a little steamy. Okay. There Thank you. Go. Thank and you. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we got here. See if it's edible. <laughs> it's not, Price just off. fake it. <laughs> That's not bad. Really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I were gonna change it, mm -hmm. I'd add some sort of liquid, mm -hmm. like maybe add some beef broth. Yeah, mm -hmm. you could make this broth. into That'd a stew. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're, this actually gets served at room temperature. Okay. So we're gonna let it sit mm -hmm. while we finish our other recipe. I've already got the water heating up on the stove mm -hmm. so that we can cook our penne pasta. Okay. We're gonna get our shrimp out. We're gonna get it going. Okay. We're gonna have a whole so, meal. I love it. Thank you. Yeah. The pasta is drained and sitting in the uh, sink mm -hmm. over there waiting for us. But what yeah, we have good. to do is we've got to cook the shrimp. Yes. Okay. Now we the shrimp will not take that long to cook. We've got some other things that are going in with the shrimp that need a little bit more time on okay. the heat. So we're gonna do that first. Mm -hmm. So if you'll hand me the olive oil. Okay. We've got our nice uh, skillet heating up over here. I'm gonna add enough olive oil to kind of coat the bottom. Mm -hmm. Move that around a little bit. Then we're gonna add all of this, mm -hmm. and we're also gonna add a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of garlic. So okay. if you wanna find the half a teaspoon okay. and measure out some garlic over there. Throw that in there. And if you'll hand me one of those flat, yes, wood spoon, mm -hmm. you see? You knew what I was talking mm -hmm. about. <laughs> you knew. So we're gonna give this a couple minutes a couple minutes mm -hmm. uh, and while I'm doing this mm -hmm. if you guys want to add a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper okay. to the shrimp and then you can stir it up a little bit now one thing I do want to mention is that when I cooked the pasta uh, before I drained it I reserved a, a little over half a cup because mm -hmm. that's going to be used a little bit later okay. in this recipe So you are no longer the president. Mm -hmm. Are you, does that mean you just go home, you're done with the organization, or are you going to stay involved? No, so Junior League, we have advisory roles. So when you roll off as president, you serve in that capacity. So I will be supporting my sister here, Tiffany, uh -huh. um, as president, and, you know, just ensure, you know, that I um, just, just help her with what she has to do for her league year. So yeah. I will continue on. So you don't just throw her out there to the wolves no, and, and walk away? No, definitely not, no. Yeah. You definitely need a good support system um, in that capacity. And you've got, uh, is the advisory committee more like a board or do you have a board also? So the advisory person, so I'm advisory for her. Okay. I, I sit on her board. Okay. Yes, so I would serve as advisory for her entire board, which is, um, the treasurer, recording secretary. The normal. The normal. The huge. Yes. So. Good. But yeah, that's what I will be helping her with. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to put this shrimp down in here. It will not take long. Spread that out a little bit. You probably said this already, but mm -hmm. how long have you been involved with Junior League? Um, since 2011. Okay, and you said y'all came on at the same time. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So that's a pretty long time to be involved with something like that. Because mm -hmm. it's not easy. No, it's not. Um, you put a lot of time and heart and effort mm -hmm. into it. Um, but it's just really fun to work with the community. We've met a lot of great people, got to help a lot of great kids. So mm -hmm. it's just been a very warm fuzzy feeling right right yeah so if you're again if you're looking to get involved with something mm -hmm. consider junior league yeah, and you can go to their cool. website that we mentioned earlier mm -hmm. and is on the screen now mm -hmm. so you can go there and check it out and uh, decide if you want to 
apply to be a part of the process to actually become a member mm -hmm. of Junior League. Exactly. And we do have a Facebook, so if you want to see pictures mm -hmm. of the different stuff that we do in the community and get mm -hmm. more of a feel about how it is, we're on there too. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. A lot of people are visual. They like yes, to see. Yes, they are. Pictures. They like to see. <laughs> That's the way I am. So we've got this, all the shrimp flipped over, mm -hmm. um, and I am going to add the peas in now. Mm -hmm. These have already been cooked, um, and I'm not going to add all of them, just kind of, you know, how much ever we want, mm -hmm. and that looks enough there. Mm -hmm. We can save those for dinner tomorrow night. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> all right. Kind of spread those around. And since they're already cooked, we don't necessarily need to worry about them mm -hmm. getting cooked enough. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do now is I am going to take this off the heat and add all of this to our original pot that we used for the penne pasta. Okay. Okay, uh, and that I'll put the penne pasta in there, or if you wanna take care of that, yes. hey, let's make sure that's cool enough. Yeah, okay. well, let me give you some of these. <coughs> you can carry that over okay. to the penne pasta. Okay. You can bring that over here. Oh, We're ready are. for it over here. Uh, you can right. put it on the burner right there. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I'm gonna add this to it. Most of it. <laughs> Some of it winds up uh, on the thing there. Mm -hmm. That's fine. And we're gonna stir that up. That's awesome. Again, keeping most of it in the pot. Mm -hmm. Save that for the dogs. <laughs> All right, and so I want to add uh, arugula. We're okay. going to add arugula okay. to this. Okay. Um, so we can open this up. Uh, let's see how much arugula we need in there. It's basically going to be about two little pinches. Okay. So just grab a pinch of that, or like a. Mm -hmm. like about that. <laughs> that I'll do the first one. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Boom, nice. Yay. And then if you will hand me the water right there beside okay. you. This is our reserved pasta water. Okay. So I'm gonna add about a half of that, about half a cup of that, mm -hmm. sorry. And stir that up. And what we wanna do is cook this until the arugula gets uh, a little wilted. Mm -hmm. Now this isn't just arugula here. This is, uh, we've got a little spinach in there. Mm -hmm. uh, basically mixed field greens. Mm -hmm. And That's you can really add whatever good. you want, mm -hmm. whatever you like. All right, so we want to cook that arugula down mm -hmm. to where it's wilted. Mm -hmm. We also want to add the remaining basil okay. that we have, which is right over there yes. next to the microwave. We reserved that earlier. We used half of it to see, mm -hmm. you can pour you that in, in, to season the, uh, mm -hmm. the, make the marinade for the shrimp. Mm -hmm. So it's already got that basil flavor kind of cooked into mm -hmm. the shrimp. And this will be ready in just a minute. All right, so this looks ready. The uh, the mixed greens are kind of wilted. We got the uh, the shrimp and everything, mm -hmm. and the basil. We're ready to try yeah, it. So I'm excited. Turn off this heat right here. Now let's see. Put a nice little helping on there. Mm -hmm. Right there, and the fork's right there. Mm -hmm. Just a little there, mm -hmm. and you <laughs> are allergic mm -hmm. to shellfish. I am. You are. Now you could omit the shellfish. You mm -hmm. could uh, add lentils to it. Mm -hmm. You could add whatever you want, any kind of meat, and uh, change it up a little bit if you have allergies. Mm -hmm. So you get to eat. Peas. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I know, right? There I just take go. that whole bowl. <laughs> so we're going to try. I'm going to go right in for the shrimp. That's so funny. That's a lot of flavor right there. Great. Mm. Just believe us. Mm. Mm. That was really good. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think we've got three successful recipes. We do. Um, 
And I just want to thank you guys so much yeah. for being on Servings Kitchen with a Cause today yeah. with us. Thank you Junior so much Junior League for is having awesome. Mm -hmm. Again, if you want to join, check out that website. Yes, and on behalf of the Junior League of Douglas County, we want to present you with our Kids in the Kitchen book. Awesome. And inside there's healthy recipes, so I hope you enjoy it. Thank I you will so much for having I only us. take this <laughs> if you both autograph it for yes, me. You know definitely. It. <laughs> we will. Thank well, thank you, so you much. Thank you, You're and uh, thank you again for being on the show. And Servings Kitchen with a Cause is all about doing things for your community. Junior League is doing it and you can get involved. Find something to do to help your community. We'll see you next month.